and welcome! Okay, we're gonna continue where we last left off. Just talk. Go get the papers from file 42 on the back black shelf. Cuthbert was in charge of that one, I think. You're go actually going to give them the invoice? What choice do I have? We've cast our lots already. We'll just have to see it through. I hope you can understand my decision. Of course. Well, thanks. I'm hoping this is the last time you ever ask such an illegal favor of me. Okay, your turn. Tell me what the plan is. I'm about to lose a very valuable customer over this. I'd at least like to know what I'm paying for. Well, you see... What are we these for? We'll see. Then how do they know? It's not fair. So essentially you want the kingdom to stop guarding the world eater. Well, it has been calm for some time now. Perhaps there wouldn't be much danger in leaving it alone for now. And let me fill you in on something the Crimson Deer is what's keeping me bound to the kid here. It's all that old hag's fault. But what the hell? I'm having fun here. <laughs> hey now, that, that, now that you mention it, I remember seeing it too. It had such a sad glow. I wonder why Lady Lena would have something like that. But I'm sure she had a good reason for keeping it. I understand that the jewel is ideal for sealing other souls. <laughs> and think about it. We've got one of the most potent souls here ever created right around the corner. The World Eater? Ah, I see where this is headed. The monstrous shadow looming over us does represent untold power as well as vast evil. And to remain afloat in this hectic world, a country like ours does need access to a certain amount of power. So the king bought the crimson here? In all likelihood, who but a king would have the resources to acquire such a thing? No doubt his land's taxes have been funneled into its purchase. Even so, the jewel is only an average purity. The cost of a perfect jewel would be astronomical. <laughs> a third-rate piece of junk like that is bound to lead up to failure. But I wouldn't really mind if it freaked out and started wrecking shit. <laughs> you haven't formulated your plan yet, have you? I'll give you some time to sit down and get everything in order. You explain your idea to Kristoff. Is that so? Well, I suppose that's the only path open to us now. But how will we get in contact with the Knights? Um, we were sorta of hoping... Ah, you're asking me for yet another favor. Why must you be so brutal? Do you know what kind of position this puts me in? Hmm. But it's still a good plan. I'd like to see how it plays out. Very well. I'll relay the message for you. But that's it! You're cut off! I'll do no more of your dirty work. Th thank you, Master! Master? I think he's a slave. Hey, kid. Why do you bother jumping through all these hoops? Just give me control. Let me do my thing and voila! We win. I'm not giving up my body. Oh, slap. I knew you'd say that. Fine! Do it the hard way! Yeah. Okay, before we do that... Okay, recall. What the hell is that? A monster. More like a blobster. Spikes coming out of the water with the basket. Oh, and it's only one, so it must be pretty powerful. <laughs> Another blobster. Okay! Let's continue then. And we get a cutscene. Question mark. There's something stuck in the tree. Hey! It's a letter! It says, the rest is up to you, Andor. That's it! 
Oh, wait, there's also a map to get to the Nerid's place. Looks like it's not far past the Rage shoreline. Jeez, that world off guy is so irresponsible! I thought I said irresistible for a second. I'm like, wow. Alright, let's fight this blobster. Money yeah, but it's better to have that. You never know what this, what it'll do. Lobster thing. Oh. No. Doesn't move very fast. Enemy backup arrives. More blobsters. Do it.